What's up allies, welcome to another news video. Now it's official, the AMD Fluid Motion Frames driver, the official one, is officially available to download. Now we've done a video showcasing how to install this and the difference, and that's the video that you see in the background. So make sure you go back, take a look at that video if you wanna see if this makes a difference. But in today's video, I'm just gonna break down what comes with this driver and let you guys know if it's worth it to actually install this at this time. Now, I just wanna give a disclaimer. You can't just turn on your RG Ally, go to Emerald Crate and install this manually. You have to click the link which i'll leave in the description below but i've tried it on my ally and a lot of people on reddit also has tried it and seems to be working fine so some of the new features for this is that it does bring new game support for like a dragon infinite wealth and tekken 8 so you guys know those are two big games releasing this week so it's pretty cool to see that this is going to be ready to go and hopefully work for those games on the ally we'll be doing some videos on here so stay tuned for that it also has support for amd radian rx 7 600 xt well we don't really care about that here but the biggest one is the amd fluid motion frames as you can see here boost fps up to 97 percent for a smoother gameplay experience by adding frame generation technology 20 direct x 11 to 12 game again we've done a video showcase in the difference here and again i'll link in the description but again this is pretty significant and i think the more they play around with this the better that it'll be for us rg ally owners and also with this update it does bring some fixes as well here but again haven't really tested this one out to see if it makes any difference so personally i think this is really great and i cannot wait to see asus make this official through Amor crate and i believe when they do that they also add some pretty cool features who knows we might get some I'm going to create update as well with that. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. I know this releases, but it takes these companies a bit to bring it to the platform. But when they do, they also add some goodies. So, so if you guys want to wait for that, I can totally see why that makes sense. But me, I like to be an early test of things and showcase these things off so you guys can see what they look like so you guys don't have to tinker with your device as much but let us know in the comments below are you guys excited about this are you guys going to download this again we'll have the link in the description if you guys were interested another disclaimer if you guys were going to install this yourself we have a guide on how to install the latest drivers i'll post that in the description as well so use that guide to install this appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one Till next time peace out